tank commanders shouting orders, engines roaring to life. That's what started our morning. We hear heavy fighting from the direction of Jaswische. There our troops have already started to engage the enemy and are pushing through their defensive lines. Now it's the turn of the left flank, of the first company. Our task is to push towards Slepino and capture it if possible. We will accomplish this task. Panzer, vorwärts Marsch! Hello there, and welcome to the next episode of our awesome Raging Bridgehead campaign in Gravity Team Tactics Mio's Front. Now, in the first two episodes, we have observed how our forces have conquered these three sectors here and expanded our bridgehead a little bit. But now, now we are up for, well, a quite special opportunity, in fact. We are fighting for these sectors, and as you can see, these two upper sectors here, they are actually victory points. So capturing them this early on in the campaign, already in the first turn, would be quite a huge deal. However, we have a lot of enemies here, and we don't have a lot of troops. We have two tank companies. And we have some Panzer Grenadiers and half tracks. That's it. Now, this tank company here, they have already fought the enemy in the previous battle. So they are a little bit depleted on ammunition. However, I think that we can push these guys up this road and have them reach this victory point. Maybe, just maybe, we can manage to envelop the enemy like this and encircle whatever is left in here. That's a possibility that we can entertain. The other option is of course to follow the plan that is laid out here basically on the map and just push this way through the forests. Now there are a few things to consider. You can see that here in this forest and also partly in this forest over here we have some swampy ground so absolutely not ideal for our tanks. The same up here in the open and here in this little forest. So my tanks will most likely have to stay on this road once they push through this area. We'll see how that plays out. It will be interesting, absolutely. Okay, with that said, let's jump to the battlefield. Welcome to the battlefield. Now this will be a weird one, that's for sure. I have a lot of tanks, but I do not have a lot of infantry. That's my problem right now. I can push with the tanks, but I have not much to actually hold the ground that I conquer. And that is certainly an issue. And there's another one. My Panzer Grenadiers, like for example this squad here, although it does say that they are Panzer Grenadiers with an APC, they actually don't have an APC. I don't know why that is. It might be, I have a suspicion, it might be because of the um, mod that I'm using for the infantry uniforms. Uh, that's Knight Postman's mod. It makes the guys look really cool, but I think he also, or his mod does something to the unit composition. So maybe that's the reason why I don't have APCs. I do have a few APCs though. Just a few of them. I have two APCs armed with machine guns and I have a few command APCs or basically APCs occupied with a commander that have one of these little 3.7 centimeter anti-tank guns on top. Okay. The plan is as follows. My engineers that are accompanying this um, tank company, the first tank company, these engineers are holding Enkata, Enkata Chef for the moment. I will take two squads and I will put them into this little forest over here. So that as a first step we can completely cover this open ground on this side. The Panzer Grenadiers will advance to the edge of this forest and establish control over this swamp area here. And yes, I was completely right when I looked at the map. We have a lot of swampy ground. There's a swamp here, swampy ground here, and we have more swamps out there in the open. Much more swamps. 
So back to the plan, yeah. The Pentagonadiers, I will try to push them to the edge of the forest, establish control over this open ground, and over this narrow strip of forest here. Once that is done, and once we have established uh, control of this open ground, I will take the engineers that are currently in Kartashev and I will put them into this forest to hold this gap. The Panzer Grenadiers will then shift over to the right flank and will, together with the tanks, advance on Slepino. That's the plan. If that plan will work, we'll see. I don't envision myself doing a thorough sweep of this forest here. I will try to bypass it and then to just capture Slepino West and Mishkino East. We'll see if that works. I have nothing pre-planned in this battle, no artillery pre-planned, no unit movements pre-planned apart from the Panzer Grenadiers advancing to the edge of the forest because I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna see here. And I forgot to give these guys an order, apparently, or did I? No, I didn't. They are perfect where they are. I don't want them in this light cover here. Okay. I know some of you guys really liked my pre-planned approach in the previous battle, but with the amount of force that I have here, I can be a little bit more deliberate in my movements and a little bit more careful. So let's just start this. And I will shift my forces to the positions where they are required. Now, first things first, the engineers. I want you guys to get onto this tank, and I want you to get onto this tank. The tanks will ferry you across to that forest. Here, a tank company is starting their advance up this road. They will take up a holding position here. And then we'll just see what happens. My infantry units are advancing nicely. So far no enemy contact, which is good. I do have one artillery observer, who has control over a few mortars. Two in fact, not much. And I will shift him according to the situation on the battlefield. No contact. That's good. That's very good. Okay, are the engineers on their tanks? I think they are. Yes. So in that case, this tank... Um, fast move to there. This tank... Fast move to here. Let's have a quick look at this, because I always think that this makes... Oh my god, artillery. Okay, the enemy is aiming at Kartashev. Let's get these guys out of here as fast as possible. As I was about to say, this always makes for some nice pictures. Infantry units on tanks. Because it looks awesome and I think that the game offers this feature is quite incredible. We have a whole Panzer Grenadier. No, they are not Panzer Grenadiers. These guys are combat engineers. A whole combat engineer squad on a little Panzer III. That's awesome, if you ask me. Where's the second tank? <laughs> Lost it in all that smoke. But yeah. Pretty awesome. The artillery is a bit annoying, but it shouldn't do much. We can still see the fires from the previous battle in Yasvisha. Come on, kick these tanks into high gear. We need to get a move on. Something is happening. Somebody is under fire. Okay, we have contact. Where though? Okay, okay. Okay, you know what? I want you guys to pull back a little bit. 
I don't want you to get messed up here. So just pull back, deploy some smoke grenades. And we will quickly move up additional units. We have some Panzer twos. Panzer II, it can be useful. It is not heavily armored. Wait, what do they have here? They have a machine gun, okay. That machine gun can actually mess up a Panzer II, so I need to be a little bit careful there. However, my Panzer twos, if I put them in a position here in the forest, they can start to wear down that enemy. Panzer twos, where are my Panzer twos? These guys. Yeah, I will use you. Uh, you drive up here. And then you will go out in an attack formation. Line formation. Like so. And like so. More artillery raining down on Katashev. Not nice of them. So since I know that there are infantry units there, I might bring up my artillery observer. Wow, okay. The enemy is deploying some heavy artillery against Kartashev, but they are thankfully missing. Hooray for that. Okay, these tanks are still driving the guys up to the intended position. Oh, where's my forward observer? Here he is. Uh, there's no sense in putting you in the truck right now. So you walk over to here, you walk over to here. I will have him get into a position from where he can start to aim at these enemy infantry units. The tanks are moving up the road. I will want them to move up to here so that they can gain some vision on the open ground. I think that might be beneficial. So I'll give them another order to stay in a column formation and to stay on the road, please, and just move to here. Under fire. Okay, I have more infantry units under fire by the enemy. What is going on? There are some enemy machine guns over here, apparently. Shooting at the engineers, uh, okay. The engineers disembarked from their tanks and are now in the open, which is not the position where I want them to be. The other engineer unit, I think they are still on their tank, yes. So one engineer unit chose to disembark. Let's get them into these trees ASAP. This troop is disembarking. Let's get them into here. And let's use these tanks to set up positions here. Furthermore, we will send the rest of this tank company in to the open to go and support their comrades. Like so. And we have even more tanks that we can bring up. There's an enemy position out there in the open. We can bring up our Panzer IVs to put some real hurt on these guys. Draga, bring up your tanks. Attack formation. Like so. And move out there. Artillery is hitting my tanks, but that's fine. The tanks can take it. We have more enemy contact. Yeah, and they do have machine guns. So I really need to bring it those tanks. Panzer twos, I need you guys up here. They are advancing through the forest. So far so good. Everything is alright for now. Where's my artillery spotter? Yeah, the enemy has multiple heavy machine guns apparently. So I think we are facing something like a machine gun company. Ah, oh. well these enemies, they are in for some trouble and they don't know it yet. 
I have a bunch of Panzer IVs here that I can use to mess them up. This tank. Drive up here and support that infantry. You drive up here. You drive to there. And I will have you go here. Okay. Having fewer forces than in the previous battle really allows me to make a more coordinated approach to the whole affair. And here we have one of my half-tracks armed with a machine gun. I do want to bring it into a position from where it can support and suppress. So I think I will bring it right here, facing that way. These tanks, why are they not on the move? Did I not order the whole unit to do this attack move to here? Hmm, okay. Never mind. Let's fix that. Stay on the road, go. More artillery on Kartashev. The houses... Well, they are still holding. Damn. This is incendiary ammunition, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe we have an artillery observer in that enemy position. It's possible. It is very possible, in fact. Okay, Panzer force are starting to move up. The enemy is in for some trouble and they don't even know it yet. Okay, you guys take up a position like so. I want you guys a bit more concentrated, not spread out like this. Okay, my infantry... I don't know why everything's on fire here. They did take some losses. So I do want to pull them back slightly. Throw some smoke grenades and get back a little bit get some separation to the enemy. Did the engineers make it into the forest without losses? No. This squad lost one guy and the other one is still fine. Okay. This enemy position here, it will be taken pretty fast. Another heavy machine gun. Uh, just a Maxim. Still dangerous though. I think, by the way, that, well, at least according to the briefing, we are facing units from the Leningrad Infantry School. They are operating in this area. So I'm not quite sure how to categorize those units. I suspect, that's just a gut feeling, I suspect that their morale will be quite high, but maybe their experience won't be. Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah, my tanks are starting to engage those guys. They don't look happy. And once the Panzer Force get into position, they will be even less happy. Actually, Panzer Force can go right ahead and assault that. Silence that enemy position. I want them dead. Okay, tanks are standing by here, that's fine. Some of you guys are remarkably relaxed about the whole affair. I wouldn't leave that open if I were you. Now, the ground in this area is pretty bad. I could still take some tanks around this way. Enemy contact? Yeah, okay, we know about this position. And it is getting suppressed, so soon we might be able to take engineers from this forest and push them across the open ground into this position. Where are my Panzer IIs that are supposed to advance? Oh, they are doing it. Okay, they spread out and now they are advancing forwards. Ok, 
Okay, these tanks here have spotted the enemy. And they're now starting to suppress and engage. Oh, you... Go a little bit forwards. Spread out just a little bit, come on. This is good. Okay, what about my artillery observer? Is he in position? Not yet. Oh my god. Okay. The enemy certainly has artillery observers. And they are now hitting this area. Where my tanks moved through. My artillery observer, he is... Advancing to the front line. I do want that guy to hold fire. Now, how accurate can we get him already? Not very. Well, could work, but it's dangerously close to my own positions. So I, I'm not a big fan of this. Let's continue to wait for the Panzer twos. They are almost in a position to start supporting. Okay, the Panzers out here in the open, they are... Well, I wouldn't say they are particularly effective at killing the enemy, but they are denying them freedom of movement. Which is very valuable in itself. Since the enemy decided to set up in this swampy area, I might have to send in my infantry to clear them out. That's just how it is then. Okay. Are the enemy positions sufficiently suppressed? Well... I don't think we are quite there yet. I think the enemy still has a heavy machine gun somewhere in this forest. But this forest here, it's pretty much on fire. Why? So many trace ammunition setting fires? No, it's artillery. It's much worse. <laughs> Damn. Oh no, the enemy really likes it, his artillery in this campaign so far. Where are you? You're standing by there, that's a good position, you can stand there, and you, I want you moving up here. And these engineers, I, I don't want to say they need to get the hell out of there, but they kind of do. On the other hand, as long as there are enemy machine guns, getting them out of this forest would be a death sentence. need to assault this enemy position and my engineers are pretty well suited for that if I can get them close. Here's something I'll do. This tank, move there um, and you will pick up those engineers and you'll move them across the open ground to assault. Now back to the Panzer twos. They are reaching their positions. Spread out a little bit. And once these guys are spread out, our infantry will make their move. Because the enemy he is, he they notice the approach of the tanks. They are shifting. Maybe they're trying to get out of there. Maybe they realize what a death trap this is becoming. Okay, this infantry squad, they are still fine, putting some suppression on the enemy. That's exactly what I want. Okay, enemy still has heavy machine guns, but they will soon be targeted by the Panzer twos.
Yeah, okay. There's the machine gun. Now, Panzer twos, please take out that guy. You hold, turn that way before you get perforated by this thing. And I think you're actually in position to flank that machine gun, so move up. Go get it. Yeah, the Panzers are now starting to engage. And now that the Panzers are engaging... Oh wow, these guys already lost a lot of men. Okay, let's... Oh, okay. I have losses among my Panzer Grenadiers. That's not nice. And this machine gun is aiming at the Panzer II, so let's turn the Panzer II around. And hopefully have him return fire. Go for this. Ah, he is shooting at something. Panzer 2 is rolling up on this whole situation. Somebody. Oh, we lost a unit. Okay, Panzer 2. Abandoned. Wounded gunner damaged. The gun has been damaged. Uh, I, that's what I feared. The machine guns, they are effective against the Panzer twos. But the machine gun now has a problem. Don't flip the tank. Please don't flip the tank. Okay, you can't aim at the machine gun if you're like this. And you are getting grenaded, so we treat the tank a little bit. Get out of the range of the enemy infantry. There's a good position, stay there. And now engage them. Okay, I need my artillery observer. Uh, he is all the way back there. Uh, how do I want to do this? I think this group here is pretty important. But I need to get this guy closer. Go there. There's a lot of enemy infantry actually in this narrow strip of forest. Okay. Once the artillery observer has closed in on this position, he might be able to better see this here and get a mortar strike onto them. Panzer 2 is now successfully engaging. I think the um, heavy machine gun has been taken out. With one Panzer 2 retreating. Yeah, the crew is mostly dead and the survivor, he's getting out of there. So we lost one Panzer 2. It's fine though, it's expected to happen. These things are not very tough. And now imagine that, well, when Germany invaded the Soviet Union, and think about it, this battle here is happening on the 8th of August 1941. So this is pretty early, right? What's going on here? Oh, mortars. Oh, the tanks will survive that. Okay, so this battle is happening very early on in the war. It's actually the earliest campaign that you can play in Gravity Team Tactics Mios Front at the moment. And now consider that most of the tanks that the Germans had were actually Panzer IIs. Many were even Panzer I's. The Panzer I, in contrast to the Panzer II, did not have a 2cm autocannon, it only had machine guns. Consider that. The most numerous German tank at this point in time was the Panzer II, not the Panzer III or even the Panzer IV. The Panzer II and the Soviets well, of course, they had a lot of light tanks and medium tanks, like, for example, BTs, T-26s, and stuff like that. 
but they did also have T-34s. They did have uh, KV tanks. How is a unit like this supposed to fight that? Only through tactics and maneuver. The Germans apparently were pretty good at that, because otherwise they wouldn't have made it as far as they did. And the Soviets, well, they were no pushovers. Absolutely not. If somebody thinks that the Soviets were easy to defeat, mm, no, you're wrong. They did have to adapt to the whole uh, new way of warfare, so to say. But they did so very quickly and with a lot of skill. And they did surprise the Germans very often with their tenacity and bravery. Okay, I think we can get the mortars involved now into this position. Let's see, we want high explosive. Yes, please give me... No, not all shells. Give me... Um, how much? Give me five per gun. That should be sufficient to suppress this. Let's call them in. And as soon as the mortars land, we will take this very depleted infantry squad and bring them out to here. Or maybe even this one. This one is a little bit... F Damn, they all took losses. More losses than I suspect that they will take. Now, since enemy infantry will be pushed back and will run back to here, I'm right now thinking about taking my tanks. Oh, artillery coming down onto the road, okay. I'm thinking about taking my tanks and rolling up the enemy's rear. Just circumvent the enemy defenses in here, get into their rear, and maybe do some damage to them that way. Maybe have tanks sweep through this forest. It might work, but then... I did already spot this. So there are more enemy positions out here in the open. It's a challenging question. What will we do now? Well, I think before we go for that plan, I want to make sure that we control this gap in the forest. Uh, not the gap, this narrow point in the forest. Okay, the tank arrived here and will now pick up these Panzer Grenadiers. Uh, I'm calling them Panzer Grenadiers all the time. These engineers. Pick up those engineers and get them in the forest. Or get them into this defense here. Well, there's actually not a lot of defense left. But it's fine. This unit, they are still fighting. And they did not take any losses so far. We have more units here. You guys can try to come up to this position. And I might support this push with mortars. So where's the observer again? He is... Where are you? Am I blind? Ah, there you are. I can shift you to this side once you have observed this strike. So we will wait for that to happen. The Panzer II's are doing a great job here. They are really pinning down the enemies. I'm not sure if I even need the mortar strike on this position anymore. But we have ordered it, so let's see what happens. Yeah. It's a shame that we lost one Panzer too, but at least one crew member is getting out. And he can still serve us. He will be available to replace um, a loss that we take in another one of the Panzer twos.
So far, so good. Okay, vehicle. We have apparently vehicle audio all the way back here. You can already see a truck there, so I guess these positions are occupied by enemy trucks. Panzer 2s are absolutely merciless. In fact, let's bring this Panzer 2 forward to help him fight the enemies. Okay, my artillery strike is arriving in pretty much the wrong location. <laughs> Uh, the artillery observer will have a prime time seat to correct his fire. Ah, uh, dude. You literally are bringing this upon yourself. Uh, was that an impact? I'm not sure. I don't think it was. Oh, and I missed a very important detail here. I ordered 10 rounds per gun. That, since these are only two mortars shooting, that means we are firing a strike of only 10 rounds. That might not be enough. There's the mortar shell landing. That might not be enough to even correct the fire and get a significant amount of shells onto this position. I didn't think of that. But alright, it's fine. It's fine. the next track somewhere over there and yes I need to bring him over so that he can see the area but I think I think we can pretty much cancel this mortar strike I don't think there's much left here the Panzer 2s are doing a wonderful job and I see enemies over here pulling out These guys are not even having contact anymore at the moment. So we might actually go ahead and have them go after the enemy. It really does look like the enemy is pulling out. We will leave these guys here for the moment because they do have contact. And it's time to bring over my engineers, even without the mortar support. Are they still sitting on the tank? No, they got off again. Please get onto the tank. Come on. These engin the other engineer squad, yes, they are depleted a little bit. But I think I will get them onto another tank and have them drive across. Fire, under fire, under fire. That's fine. What's that? Maxim? Maxim. Maxim gun. Okay. I need a little bit of support for that. We have uh, our commander here with his 3.7 cm armed half track. This is risky, but I want to bring him up. Maybe he can engage that machine gun. He could also get his head shot off, so let's see what happens. We won't send him alone. We have another one here with a machine gun. Oh, no. Rotation? What do you mean, rotation? Oh, do these things only have... What? Where's the crew member in this? Stop the thing. Why do you have only one crew member? I'm not sure. You, however, need to continue your advance. Try to get eyes onto the machine gun, uh, which is here. Engineer, who is retreating? You guys, okay. The machine gun fire did it for you, huh? Retreat. Oh, there are only four guys remaining. Half unit lost. Damn, that machine gun. If a Maxim gets a bead on you... And these guys are refusing to get onto the damn tank. Don't do that to me. Please get on. 
I know there's still sporadic fire coming in, but come on. Okay, this unit at least is getting onto their tank. And they will soon be ready to move out. The last guy is almost... Embarked. Come on. Okay. Now tank, I want you to move here. And I want you to move here, here, and here. And there you will disembark the troops. Unless they do it themselves immediately. That's not nice of you guys, but okay. You know what? In that case, you are once again bringing this upon yourself. Single file, you will rush the open, get over here, and then go into a defensive position there. And the same for the other unit. Get here, go there, go there, go there, and then go here. Okay, are you able to engage them? Yes, you are. Alright, that's good to see. That's good to see. Now, I did think that I spotted the enemy pulling back, but... Well... Kind of and kind of not. There are still a lot of them remaining. But now that the engineers are starting to get across, and yes, they... are getting a move on, this tank, he does not have to move anymore. I actually want to bring tanks up here onto this high ground that can observe the whole swamp area. So you go here and what are you? You are a Panzer IV. You know what? That's not a bad thing. I want you up here. You I want over here. And you, I actually want over here. Let's put some pressure on the enemy. This tank, he too can get onto the high ground. Like, for example, here. Okay. Am I ready to take my tanks and just push across the open? I'm... I'm a little bit hesitant because of this enemy position. It's a quite large position. And I don't know what's sitting in there. It could be, I don't know, supply troops. In that case, no big deal. It could also be something much more serious. And if that's the case, then we have a problem. But you know what? I do have my Panzer Force. And they are or they can be used as a breakthrough tank. These Panzer 3s, they are sitting here in a pretty nice position. I will have them spread out just a little bit. You know what? Go there. Just get off the road. Make the road open. Open up the road for movement. Who are you and what are you doing there? You are a truck belonging to the infantry. You can stay there. Now, I have Panzer II here. I don't, I don't want the Panzer II's to be in the front. They are too weak for that. But these Panzer III's, sure. You will push through. And you will push through to this position here where you will set up to cover this open ground. Let me have a quick look at how the visibility is. It's pretty good actually. It's okay. You guys. Column formation. Normal spread. Single file. You don't have to be buttoned. You will stay on the road and you will go fast. Get over here. And once you are there, I want you to spread out in a line. take up positions there. They will take up positions like this. 
please don't go into the swamp. The Panzer twos. I'll leave them behind those guys for the moment. We'll see. Okay, the Panzer twos. First of all, a few of you guys in the previous videos asked how I do set up delays for enemy, uh, not for enemy, for unit movement orders. And you do it with this hourglass here. Set delay, and I want these Panzer twos to start moving in five minutes. With right click I can increase the time by five minutes and I apply the delay but before... no, this is actually wrong, I need to select them all. So, select them all, apply a delay of five minutes, apply the delay and now you see they are marked with five minutes. And now you can give them an order like for example Get your ass over here in a single file. And I did it wrong. <laughs> I forgot something. Okay. Um, this is actually something that is very easily forgotten and that trips up a lot of people. You apply the delay. Five minutes. Apply. And before you give your order, you need to hold shift so that the order is basically given as a series of instructions. And now I can give that order and it won't be executed immediately. Now they will wait for five minutes before they start their move. Okay. Over on this flank. I could start to bring in the engineers from... <gasps> Don't tell me. No! Rest in pieces. The artillery nailed a whole engineer squad. Only one guy is left alive and only because he was actually in this house over here and not here. Oh damn. <sighs> Poor guys. That's a horrible death. However, we still have this squad and it will embark onto this tank and I will get them into the forest now. We need to get our units moving. Where is my observer? Here. I do want to bring you over to this side, so... First of all, move back. And then, you will move over to this side. And over to there. My engineers did make it into the forest. And once the observer is in position, he will set up a strike. Uh, enemy movement over at Slepino. Okay, the enemy might be pushing in reinforcements. So it's actually a good idea that I started to bring in the tanks. The tanks that are... where? There. They are pushing through the absolutely ruined road. The road is ruined. Panzer twos. I don't know why, but I like these smaller tanks. They're pretty nice. This would be such a lovely little forest without all the battle going on. But due to the fighting, well, it is what it is. It is what it is, after all. Did these tanks arrive in the intended position? 
Uh, wait, who are you guys? Oh, okay. Wait a second. Dismount. Who are who am I dismounting right now? No, these guys. No, I want you to mount. You stay on your tank. You are fine. Where are the other ones? You are the last remaining guys there. You are on the tank. And in the forest. Okay. I'll have you guys dismount and I'll have you guys rejoin your unit at the earliest opportunity. This Panzer IV, he pushed much farther than I wanted him to. So please do get up here. I want you to sit on this hill and engage anything. Especially the guys out here in the forest. This infantry group, yeah, they need to get back together. And that could be an issue if they try to rejoin their unit right now. We'll see there. Oh, this tank. You guys are doing something wrong. You are going into the swamp, which is a bad idea. Reverse, please. What's going on with you? Did you? Wow. You went through your ammunition really fast. I need to keep an eye on that. He really did burn through his ammunition. Okay, the Panzer IIs have now started their move. Cute little tanks. Panzer 3s, they are ahead of them. Still moving across this completely broken road. But they, I think they will be able to get in a nice position behind the enemy. We might be able to form up our tanks and have them execute a nice charge down this road. Suppressing or maybe even overrunning the enemy positions here. There is the possibility that I bring in tanks out here. The, uh, the ground here does look hard enough to do that. Bring tanks out and have them sweep the enemy formation. Just run them down. Enemies. Enemies are still annoying over here. You know what? Let's bring this Panzer IV closer so that he can support better. Because I think at this point the engineers that are starting to rejoin their unit might run into trouble. Uh, how far did my artillery observer get? He's all the way over here, so he's almost at the position where he needs to be. Continue to move, come on. The enemy will soon have to be very careful. He is about to be encircled and cut off from escape. Movements all the way back there. Yeah, they're moving forwards. I don't know why. We'll see though. I have my tanks pushing through. These Panzer 3s, they will establish security here and then I can start to move the other tanks and push them. Okay. Artillery observer, please hurry up. I need you. He will place a strike onto this area pretty much. 
just to pin the enemy. That's all that he needs to do. He needs to pin them. But so far the accuracy is still pretty terrible. He needs to get closer. How is the ground sloping here? Yeah, okay. That could be an issue. He will be a little bit behind the hill, so maybe get him over here to increase his chances. Having to fight the Soviets in forests is always dicey. Uh, tank, you don't need to move. You're actually pretty well placed where you are right now. And the other tanks are pushing through. The Panzer twos are following. So far, so good. The roads are really bad though. The roads are really bad. I actually expect the enemy to offer a ceasefire pretty soon. I don't think I'll take it though. I want to capture Slipino. If we will be able to achieve it, I don't know. We might simply run out of ammunition before we are able to do it. Because apparently there are still a lot of enemies here in this area and I don't see us killing them all. Not with the amount of force that we have. We might have to content ourselves with the ground that we can gain here and then continue the push uh, in the next turn. But I will try. I'll try to pull it off. If I can do it, great. If I can do it, it will be very great. Now, I do have a few machine guns. I can bring them forward. Oh, okay, that's enemy artillery. Or was it the tank? I think it was the tank. Never mind. I hope it was the tank. And you know what? Let's push you forward so that you don't shoot over my own guys. Um, what did I want to do? Yes, the machine guns. Uh, it is time to bring them forward and have them help suppress the enemies on the other side of the forest. You go there. You. I want you over here. And your commanding officer, he will be here. Artillery, where are you? Where the hell are you? I keep losing you. There you are. Okay, you are where you're supposed to be. Oh, that's some nice accuracy that we can get on this enemy position. Hello. Let's spread this out just a little bit like so. That's good. Spread out the mortar strike. It's not intended to destroy the enemies, it's intended to suppress them. I want 15 per gun. Call it in. And after you've called in that strike, I want you to continue immediately with this enemy position. Ah, that's not looking as good as the other one. So you don't have line of sight to it. That's fine though, it's fine. No issue, we'll just call it in. 15 per gun once again. Fire away. He will be able to correct the shot. And we should still get a decent number of shells onto the target. Okay. Now that the enemy out here in the open has been mostly subdued, it is time to take these Panzer Grenadiers and push them up to a position from where they can see and engage. 
We are you, you are over there. Go there. You guys come up to here. It's a self propelled gun. You get over to here. You. You're actually already in a pretty decent position, but go a little bit further. Where are you? You are one guy. How did that happen? Never mind. You are ten guys. You will need to push across this strip here. And my mortars are, I think, starting to arrive. Yes. Okay. So the enemy is being suppressed right now. might use this opportunity to get a little bit closer. Or I might wait for the second strike to hit the enemies over here. Because I think this is where the main resistance will be. This here, this is just an isolated position. Also, I wouldn't mind having one of the Panzer IVs in the forest. You. You should move closer and engage the enemy directly. Okay, my mortars are now really hitting hard. Okay, you know what? We'll use the opportunity. I think the mortar strikes suppressed them pretty well. So let's use the opportunity and attack them. The engineers will join the attack. Now oh, my tanks are arriving and the Panzer IIs have even caught up to the Panzer IIs. It's not a problem though, the Panzer IIs will stop here. However, this is a nice opportunity. For a nice group picture, so to say. Very nice. And with these very nice pictures running in the background, we will end today's video here. It is quite long already. Please do leave some feedback in the comments. Is it okay to split a battle in two like this? I know you guys will be waiting very eagerly for the next episode. And well, I understand that the whole week of waiting is a long time. On the other hand, not only is a two-hour battle uploaded in full a really long video, the file size is also quite a concern for me, because I'm quite sure that uploading this video that you have watched right now will take about one and a half days with my internet speed. I expect that future battles in this campaign will be a little bit shorter, they won't go the full duration of two hours, and so I will be able to upload them in one piece, but for now I think this is just how it has to be if I don't want to compromise on the quality. Yeah, so please tell me your opinion on this and we'll have a nice discussion. I really do enjoy interacting with you guys. I read every comment on the videos and I try to reply to most of them. So for now, thank you very much for watching this video and I will end it here with, a, let's say, a few teasers running in the background. And trust me, it will be absolutely glorious. So, until next time, have some great days and goodbye.